Hey everybody, this is Eric Salo. You know, it's been about a year since I posted anything on YouTube about Linux CNC, and a lot of people have sent me comments asking for more videos, and so I thought I'd do a quick one here on setting up the pendant. I got one of these Chinese pendants, and actually works just great. Uh, I got the one that's pictured here. Uh, it's wireless, the one I have. And um, man, you know, for for finding the you know the edges of a part and setting the zero origin. It is just great. You can kind of lean in there and look when the when the probe is on the um, is in the tool changer, and I just really liked it. So, just like everything else with Linux CNC, it was like super hard to figure out for me. And then once I figured it out, I was like, oh my gosh, that was so easy. And so the purpose of these videos is just to kind of share some of that learning um, that I that I went through, and hopefully I can save you some time. So there's just going to be a couple of tips. You know, there's um, just like in the, you saw in the last video, there are some uh, some sample configurations with this pendant, and they are super helpful, right? Because they give you the right uh, the right initialization files, and they show you where to where to put everything. I'm going to go here um, to the to my initialization file. So this is my any file, my main any file, and you can see there's. Um, there's in the HAL layers, you know, there's, um, you see, I have a tool changer and um, I use the PPNC infrastructure. Boy, those guys were just really helpful when I was setting things up. And for HAL file, there's a, there's a library for the, uh, for this particular pendant, the HBO4. And then there are three sections uh, for configuration. I want to talk about the third one in particular. So the first one specifies what layout number that you're using. It's this one right here. And of course, there are different models of these and they have different key layouts. And so it might happen to be layout two. And then there are these, there are these buttons, right? Go to zero X, go to zero Y, go to zero Z, rewind, um, probe Z. I don't think I'm using that one. Um, half X, half Y. That way, if you you know if you get two edges of a part and want to set zero in the middle, you can just divide by two. I'll show you how to do that. Um, zeroing X, zeroing Y, and zeroing Z right here, and a couple others. And figuring out like how to actually tell the system to do something when you push one of these buttons was well, again for me pretty hard. So let's use an example. Um, so let's go back to our pendant. So the pendant here is set to Y right now. You can see that the um, that the that the little selector set to Y, and so if I push either one half right here or zero, I'll either set the the current value of Y to one half its current value, or I'll zero it out completely. Now, how do you do that? Like, how does the machine know to do that? And that's what I want to talk about. So, back to my any file here. There's this other section called How UI, right? And you know, there are two things about this. It just drives me crazy. And, you know, people have spent so much time documenting Linux CNC. And yet, like, the basic stuff just isn't there. So the first thing to know, and this is the most important thing, is that you have these MDI commands, and they are in order. Even though they're not numbered, and there's no index or anything, they go in order. So the first one is 0. The second one is 1. The third one is 2, etc. So, for example, these here are... If you count down, they're 12, 13, and 14. And you know, if, if you have a blank one, you have to use these double quotes right here in order to say, you know, that's that's, that's 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, that's number 6. If you didn't have the quotes, of course, it wouldn't know, right? And so that's how you do it. And you can see that, for example, let's look at look at 12, 13, and 14. I have a G10L20 command. That's a, that's a set, um, set coordinate system command. So let's go up and see what 12, 13, and 14 are. Well, they're right here. They're 0x. 0y and 0z. Let me uh, highlight those for you, right? So when I hit 0y, for example, it executes how UI command MDI-13, which I go down here, and that is G10L20P0. That, that essentially, I'll show you here. This is the Linux CNC uh, G code um, uh, reference. So this is G a G10L20 is set coordinate system. So I'm going to set coordinate system P0. So set coordinate system zero, and I'm going to set it. Um, I'm going to set y to zero. Right. You could set it to some number you if you want, etc. So when I push that button, it sets coordinate system zero to zero. So it essentially zeroes out the axis, and that's exactly what you want if you want your if you want zero to be where your probe is. Right. So let's go back. So back to the system. If I'm going to put the zero, push the zero Y button, which is right here. This is the zero Y button, right? Because it's set to Y. If it was set to X, I hit zero. It was the zero X button, and then it's going to go in. It's going to actually execute this command. It'll set to zero, right? Man, that took me forever to figure out. So that's how that works. And so each one of these has a corresponding uh, use. The other thing that I thought was just 
just drove me crazy was, you know, I have no idea where the syntax for numbers and things like that comes from in Linux CNC. And I've looked around and I just can't find it. In fact, if you guys know, somebody leave something in the comments for me to let me know. But it turns out if I want to, if I want to divide by two, so let's say that, you know, a part is an inch long and I, and I set one side and it's zero. And I set the other side and it's, it's one inch and I want to be in the middle. I want that to be a half inch. Well, you know, it's nice to have a little button to do that. And of course there is a little button to do that. So there's the half button. And so what you would do is, and I, I think I just figured this out by looking at examples, but it's, you know, capital X square bracket number, you know, on something underscore X, you know, other bracket over two right now. Like, again, I'd love to see some, um, uh, some listing of what the syntaxes are. Cause I could really do a lot more work, but anyway, basically that's how you get it to divide by two and put the number in there and it works great once you do it. So that's really all I wanted to go over in this video, because that was the thing that was really hard for me, you know, setting up the the initialization files and the library files and stuff that's really easy to follow from the um from the the sim configs but this the, this was hard for me so just to 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 summarize when you've got these you got all these buttons right and they and there's um in one of the in one of the configuration files there's a little listing of which of which of these buttons here on the pendant um you know correspond to each one of these it's pretty self-explanatory and then you can define your own thing by saying how UI dot MDI dash command and then the number. And that is defined by going down here and having this list of MDI commands, even though they're not numbered, they start at zero and then they, and they go along. So anyway, that's it. That's just um, a quick, uh, quick tip for setting up the pendant. Like I said, it took forever for me to figure out and, um, and I hope to save you a little bit of time. Thanks.